From inside Rogers Center in downtown Toronto, we're going to be treated to a gorgeous day for baseball on the show. It's the New York Yankees and the Toronto Blue Jays. And, and we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. 2022 Toronto Blue Jays. Just about to get underway and towing the slab in this one, Kevin Gossman. What's the word on him? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Now Matt Chapman at the plate. The third and now the lefty, Matt, Matt Chapman. Chapman. Big blast. Left field. Back there. And out of here. Matt Chapman pops one out of here. And they jump out front. It's 2-0. Well, not every home run is a majestic blast off the bat, and even though he hit it pretty well, it was anything but a sure thing to get out. But today, the conditions were right. He got just enough of it, and I think the backspin really helped that. Back here at Rogers Center, top half of the third Here inning, here's Aaron Higgs. The pitch. Aaron. Ripped on a line to center. Springer there makes the catch, and Hicks is out. And a quick out number one. Well, the Blue Jays have seemed to go all in on players with MLB dads. What about those advantages? And next for Toronto, Matt Chapman. He's already homered here in this one. third baseman, Matt. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. Matt Chapman hits one out. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. And they boost their lead. It's 7-0. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. He handled a pretty good changeup down in the zone right there. To me, that says he was looking down, and that's why he was able to stay on it so well. Not get out in front, but hit that ball a long way. Two outs, nobody on. Gold Bichette up to the dish. Now batter. On the ground to third. And that one finds its way through. And that keeps the inning alive. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. I know that was a ground ball, but it now was batter. absolutely First hammered season. through the infield. That's not one you're excited to get in front of if you're an infielder. You know? One down. And stepping in for the Yankees, Aaron Hicks. The left fielder, number 31, Aaron Hit. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Hernandez makes the grab, and there's two down. The catcher, number 39, Jose Trevino. Bottom of the six. Now it's the second baseman, Santiago Espinal. Leading up for Toronto, the second baseman. Swing and a base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff dive. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. The Solid catcher, swing from start to end. On time Eddie. with everything. Really good balance. Catcher. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Bobachet gets a chance to hit. And the right hander deals. There's a swing and a drive. That's back there. Feeling for the wall as he makes the catch. Runner tagging from third. He'll score on the sack fly, and it's an eight-run lead. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there, that front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now in the air, left side. Hicks is there for it. Calls it in, two away. Now batting, the designated hitter, Alejandro Kirk. 
Now here's Aaron Hicks. Now batting left fielder Aaron Hicks. First oh, offering misses the mark. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Hey, be patient, be patient, get yours. Oh, baby, Line down. drive, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. He's there, it's a two out double. Even though center fielders are amazing at tracking down balls these days, there's still a lot of room out there, and it's a big field. So if you hammer one to center like that, there's a decent chance you're picking up extra bases. Here's Jose Trevino. Here's a 2-1. Out towards right center field, and that is Springer. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. One left for the Yankees, and they're on the short end of an 8-0 score. So two away with nobody on, and it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. Now no left fielder. Lourdes. Swung on, belted. That's back there. On the warning track, and hauls it in. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays as it remains an eight nothing game. It's Aaron Hicks now. And here we go. Here the we left go. Field, number 31, Aaron. And first offering is fouled off. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Hey, let's go now. One time, one time. Simber is ready. And that one fouled off. Nobody out. Runner at first. Hey, good one up there, huh? Next offering is fouled back. Ground ball could be two. A potential double play ball hit to first is probably the toughest one to execute cleanly. That first baseman has got a very tough throwing lane to deal with because of the runner headed to second base. And a lot of times guys try to throw over or around the runner, which can really mess up a throw like that. Still definitely an error, though. And up next for New York, Jose Trevino. Line drive, and there's a hit. They won't test it here. Bases loaded. No outs. So the lineup flips over, and now Bader up to the plate. This guy has turned into a beast. On the ground to third. Nice stop. Chapman toss to second, and a run scores on the double play. It's always great when you can add a run, but in this situation with the bases loaded, double play is kind of a rally killer. Next for New York, Aaron Judge. Good contact guy, good defender. Swing and a high fly ball left field. And that'll do it. Whether you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year, to see your team win at home, there's just something special about that. Good job by these guys to get it done for the hometown fans. And our final here today, 8-4. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Shambi. Talk to you soon.
fans are final line.